What's up YouTube world? It's Ryan from Riding in Style. And for today's uh, quick install video, I'm going to do a couple things. Let me show you what I have planned here. I'm actually going to be removing the front license plate, as you can see I've already done. But I'm going to take off the license plate bracket, which is going to leave holes. So I have these bumper plugs here that I plan to paint and then install. And then I am going to relocate my plate on a new bracket onto the Stow and Show and probably set it up somewhere under there. And so, you know, things are always fluid, they're subject to change, but that's my initial plan. Now, I also want to just say that I am planning on replacing this whole front fascia with the Scat Pack uh, SRT fascia. I'm working with a few different body shops right now to find out if they're able to, re to get it for me. Um, and then when they do come in, it'll be a lot cheaper than buying it from Dodge. And so that's the only reason why I'm actually going to be putting in the bumper plugs and possibly drilling the stow and show underneath. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, but my ultimate plan is to have this front bumper, uh, the whole fascia replaced. That's the only reason why I am going to go through with installing the bumper plugs. And so as you can see, the bumper plugs are black and my car is not. So I did end up buying this Mopar um, color match. It's the PW7 or GW7, the bright white or the white knuckle, depending on what year you have. So I'm going to be painting these just at a little cardboard stand so I can get them evenly all the way around painted white and then they'll be ready to be installed. So now that I have the bumper plugs painted white, it's time to let them dry and remove the license plate bracket. So as you can see, whoever installed the license plate um, made a mistake. They drilled two extra holes up here, or almost drilled it, but made enough to make a, a mark. And that's where the license plate holes were. And these two were the only ones for the bracket. So now I have six holes to potentially deal with. Squeamish, this might be a good time to turn away as this charger surgery begins. So this is a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, it's slightly smaller than the plug. So we'll see how it fits uh, once it dries. There's no turning back now, right? Yeah, once again, viewer discretion strongly advised on this one. I just kind of realized while drilling this that this bumper seems pretty hollow. Okay, so now that the holes are drilled and a little touch-up was done to the front bumper, it's time to move on to the installation of the Stow and Show. So I'm switching out the drill bit from a quarter inch to a one eighth inch and I will probably be installing it under there somewhere. In terms of mounting the bottom bracket I may just undo one of these and use that to install the mounting bracket underneath the car and you still may have to drill a few more holes for the other screws. Okay so I don't know if you're able to see this but there's a little lip here that comes down and I found out that um, I may have to install this there to give clearance because I have this easy lip here and that'll make it a little lower for the license plate bracket to clear this. So those of you that may have an easy lip, you may need to move it more towards the, or in my case, the passenger side and get it installed on this lip versus trying to go in the middle where it's higher and you won't have the clearance for the, uh, the lip there. Alright, so it seems to work pretty well. 
under here just had to drill three holes I used one existing hole on this side and decided to run it this way and it's pretty sturdy I'm gonna install the bracket now and see how it looks well there it is I tested it with the plate it'll the top of the license plate will actually be the top of the bracket so it really wouldn't block the fog lights at all that was my concern and these bumper plugs are drying as I did paint them so I will see if they are ready to be popped in and so I just learned that the Stow and Show, it actually is designed to work just with the license plate. Um, the screws that they provide are not thick enough to go through a license plate frame and the plate and the bracket. So you can always do that, you just need longer screws. So like I said, the screws that come with the Stow and Show, they're basically designed just for your license plate to go straight on the Stow and Show. And while I was talking, I had an idea. I said, well, let me just go get a few longer screws. That way I can run. It looks a lot neater with a license plate frame, uh, especially a black one to go with this contrast here. And yes, it's time to check on those screws or those bumper plugs to make sure they're dry. And they're looking okay so far. Keep, keep in mind, guys, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I do plan on replacing this entire front bumper. Um, I personally probably couldn't live with something like this as my everyday bumper. <laughs> but, you know, considering that I may be replacing it and I really wanted to do the Stow and Show, there we have it. So the plugs do end up fitting. Um, somewhat snugly. It requires a 932 drill bit, which I didn't have. So the next best thing was a quarter inch and then you just have to move it around a little bit. But um, I guess for now it looks okay. Uh, it'll get me by until I do replace the entire front fascia. And I like the idea that I finally got the Stow and Show installed. Uh, it gives me that option to remove the front license plate altogether. So that's what it looks like. And then this is that cleaner look that I was going for um, with the license plate bracket removed and the stow and show. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this uh, little facelift. I can always put my front license plate back on. That's what I love about it. It gives you that option. But um, let me know what you think. This is Ryan from Riding in Style.